Hello guys and welcome back to a sister's cookie and on today I'm going to make some stuff Puerto Belly mushrooms Puerto Bella mushrooms okay I have a surprise for you guys you know nothing goes to waste here this is going to be a quick video so pay attention okay yeah you pay attention so on today I'm going to make a vegetable stuffed portobello mushroom but one of these must one of the portobello mushrooms stuffed mushrooms i'm going to add some smoked sausages and some cheese and i have some vegan cheese here go veggie i'm going to add to it but on one of them for my son i'm going to add him some bacon cheddar jalapeno pepper cheese and i'm going to add some cheddar cheese so let's get started so i went ahead and took the liberty of already carving out these mushrooms and what I did you see the little crevices in there what I did was left some of the crumbs in there and I've already sauteed as you all can see I have this skillet over here rolling I've sauteed me some some kale some spinach see that I got some kale and some spinach and some squash red peppers yellow pepper and green pepper and so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to stuff these bad fellas. Give me a second. Get things organized. All right. Kind of tight over here tonight. So what I'm going to do, if I'm going to stuff these mushrooms, will be some of my good old vegetables that I simmered. Again, these are must-go vegetables. These are different vegetables. Had a little taste of this here. Half squash that there. Had some mushrooms um, left over from some dinner. I love mushrooms. These are just a few I had left over. So, guys, I'm stuffing it with these vegetables. You see that? Get all them good vegetables in there. Oh, and another thing. I have a little rice. So, guess what? Like I said, nothing goes to waste in here. And I forgot I had this... This wild rice. This some brown wild rice. I'm gonna mix me some of that up in there with it. Just to give it a little bit more texture. Yes. You see your sister? Try to hook it up for you guys. I didn't think about that. I was wondering why, why did I have the rice out? But again, nothing goes to waste up in here. You understand me? I'm gonna cook everything. Everything's going to get cooked and used up in here. And again, like I said, just because things are gone older or it's, it's, it's a couple of days old or one or two days old, those are good leftovers, especially if you put a good season, a good mix, and a good smack down on them. The season should seep in and wear as though the food tastes better. Now, especially with vegetables, again, nothing goes to waste. I have some people that say, oh, my kids don't eat leftovers. Girl, my kids eat whatever I put on the table. Whatever I put on the table, they're going to eat it unless they're going to go out of here and grocery shop and buy something to cook. I doubt it. So this is what we're going to do with these portobello mushrooms. You see that? All right. So I'm going to add for my son smoked, smoked turkey sausage. And as I said, here are some smoked turkey sausages. So I'm going to add me some of that in here for my son. He going to get him some smoked turkey sausages. Yes, look at that. Look at that, guys. Delicious. Looks delicious. Yes. I'm going to put one in one more because I'm pretty sure my husband, he going to want one. And the other ones, they're going to be all vegetable. Yes. I'm going to mix it around in there, get it simmered up in there together. I'm going to put me some cheese up in here. Yes. Put a couple of pieces of, of cheddar cheese. And I should have put the cheese in there as I was adding because I like the cheese to be blended in there well. So I'm going to put it down up in there. Yes, put that cheese down up in there. Look at that. Put me some all the way at the bottom so every bite... We'll have a little cheese. Then I want to use this cheddar jalapeno baking cheese, okay? And this is something I picked up at Aldi's. My boys really enjoy it. They really enjoy it. 
And this is the bacon cheddar jalapeno cheese right here. Look at that. Bacon cheddar jalapeno cheese. So I'm going to put some in there for my husband as well because I know he will enjoy it. And plus, you can't get one person none in this house and don't get the other one. Because then they start talking about you got favors, you know. Oh, you ain't hooked me up like you hooked up Juju. But I'm going to hook everybody up today. Yes. Then, as you guys see, this is some of the leftover mushrooms from when I scraped it out and carved it. So I'm going to take me just a little bit of this and just add it back on top of there. Because you, this is a mushroom dish and this is a must-go mushroom dish. Bang. Bang. How you like me now, huh? Mm. How you like that? Take that to the doctor and get a checkup on it. Because this right here is superb. Look at that. And there you go. Stuff, portobello, mushrooms. You got your red pepper. You got your green pepper. You got your orange pepper and your yellow pepper. You have squash. You have onions. You have some smoked turkey, smoked turkey sausages. No Italian smoked turkey sausages. And I'm going to put these bad fellas together. I have a couple more over here that I need to get together for my family. Then I'm going to come back and show you all how you do that there. Yeah. How you do that there. Got ahead of myself. But I went ahead with these other ones. And if you, as you can see, I added some spinach on top of them because I am just crazy about spinach. You hear me? Give me some spinach and I'm falling out like a one egg pie, baby, honey. Ooh, baby, I'm going down like a one egg pie. I'm telling you. Man, I'm gonna add me my add some cheese on there. Whoa. How about it? It's it's loaded. Heavy load. Beep, beep. This looks delicious. It's going to taste delicious. And I know my family is going to love it. Now I want to plate this skate. I had it myself and then my son was like, Ma, you ain't going to show the people? Oh, oh, let me show the people. I want to show the people what I'm working with. So, and then once you get it on here like this, you got enough cheese on there. You got everything you need, guys. Look at this. Let me show you. Look at this. Look at that. Stuffed portobello mushroom. You have on this one side, you have your vegan with all vegetables. This is Go Veggie Cheese. They have it shredded. If you don't believe me, go to Jewel's, Walmart. You'll find it. This right here is my portobello stuffed mushrooms. Also have all vegetables in it, but I took the liberty and added my son some cheddar bacon jalapeno cheese, some regular cheddar cheese, and then I have my go veggie cheese on top. And then I topped it with some more of his um, Italian sausages that he loves so much. Not Italian sausages, guys, but his smoked so turkey sausages. And I'm going to put these in the oven. I already have my oven on at 350, so I'm going to put these in the oven, guys, down here in the middle, and I'm going to let those guys just have their way in there and as they get in there and they dance around and rotate through them i'm gonna be standing out here waiting on them to come out because i can't wait to sink these teeth into them so if you all can stay with me bear with me i'm gonna get back at you and y'all gonna see how sister get down baby because i aim to please okay 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 come back with me y'all don't go nowhere Okay, guys, that's those vegetables. I added a handful of kale in there that I had left over again from a must-go day. You know, everything goes. Nothing goes to waste. Don't ever think that just because something's sitting in the fridge, you have to discard it. Nothing goes to waste. Get all of your money worth, okay? Okay, guys, it's been about maybe 20 minutes. That's all you need. The mushrooms are already highly hydrated, and it... It don't take long for them to start getting moist and start cooking. The other vegetables had already been simmered a little bit. So putting them in the oven and mixing them all the ingredients together with the cheese. I'm going to bring them out now because I don't want it to be too mushy, too watery. Oh. 
Would you look at that? Look at that, guys. Look at that. Portobello stuffed mushroom. You have the turkey, turkey, smoked turkey sausages right there with the vegetables. And then you have your um your spinach with all your vegetables, your kale, red pepper, green, yellow, orange pepper, all of that. And I want to taste some. You know, I, I want to taste some. A taste. And see how we like that. Let me give me a spatula. And this is my son's turkey one. I'm going to taste his. Ooh. And y'all know I got to dress it up. I got to dress it up. I got to put me some parsley, parsley, parsley. Y'all know a sister love a little parsley. You know, just for a little decoration. Just a little decoration. But I love parsley anyway. And here, guys. Let me give you guys a creep peep at this. Look at that. Portobello stuffed mushrooms. Isn't it beautiful? It smells so good. It smells so divine. Portobello stuffed mushrooms. This has kale, spinach, I have red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper. I have onions in here. You have some mushrooms inside it. You have some cheddar cheese inside this one. And some jalapeno cheddar cheese inside. With well, let's give it a taste. Mm, mm, mm. Let's, get at a, let's give it a swing of things. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's something to write home about. That is very good. And again, thank you for joining me in the Sisters Cooking. And I want you to like. I have a love for you guys to subscribe. And I really would love for you guys to hit that bell, okay? Thank you very much. And thanks again for joining a Sisters Cooking. Get yourself some stuffed mushrooms. Put that stuff together and try it. Okay? I'm going to put in my, I'm gonna put all my ingredients I'm going to put it all down for you guys. I'm going to have it down for you guys. I'm put it in my, in my descriptions. My son, my baby looking at me, winking his eye. So I got kind of thrown off. So I'm going to put everything in, my, in the descriptions for you guys so you'll know what to use. Thanks again and have a blessed day. I'll see you later. <laughs>